All right, I was gonna end the video right there, but we're gonna break a few rules first. Really? Oh gosh, that's really hot. So, let's go. what the heck? It's having a party in there. Oh, I did something. What is up, guys? Hey, those of you like me who love using a pooksy, there's one problem. Those pesky bubbles. It seems like no matter how hard you try, you just can't get rid of them. Even if there's an epoxy that says bubble free, uh, sometimes we are not the most efficient whipper upper mixers to help with that. But to date, I've got the epoxy and resin game changer. What? The Bubbleizer 2000. I'm kidding. That's, that's not what it's called. That would be a really cool name though. But it's uh, Resiners. I don't know what the name is. It Airless Bubble Removal Machine. Honestly, I like Bubbleizer 2000 better. But today we're going to test this thing out in two ways. One, I'm going to mix my Pooksy, my normal. Excuse me, Mr. Shark. Don't bite me. My normal everyday way. And then the next one. I'm gonna whip the fool out of that bad boy. Like some of you out there do, you angry mixers, you know who you are. And we're gonna see how many bubbles we can get into our epoxy and how many this thing will actually remove. All right, I went ahead and took this out of the box. You don't need me to really show you how to take it out of the box, do you? Another thing, really cool. Got my gloves, got my mixing thingy. It came with these giant cups and I actually did read all the instructions. That's what you should do normally. One thing it said that I'm not very fond of, it says mix no less than three ounces. I don't know if you know, but three ounces is a lot when you're just doing tumblers and small stuff. So it's kind of a bummer. I wish this could do smaller amounts, but per the instructions, we're gonna do what it says. We wanna give it a fair chance. Let me get my plug under here because this plug is really short. All right, so we're gonna start off by mixing. I guess we're gonna do three ounces. Ah, well, let's pour it up. Ounce and a half. Let's see if we can figure out, how, wait a minute, which one do I pour first? I never remember which one to pour first. I pour the thinner one first. Crap, I went over. Dang it. Oh well, we'll try to go as equally over the line. We may very well be screwing this up. That has a lot of epoxy. oh my gosh. I feel really bad using this much. Oh my gosh. It's not at the line yet, so I'm gonna pour some more. Ooh, that was a glob. Oh, okay, I feel like that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I guess. Got me a metal stir sticker. Feels very inadequate in this very large amount of epoxy. Oh my gosh, I've dropped it. Get the sides, this is a lot. I've never mixed this much epoxy in my life, okay? I've seen people do those tables. I feel like I should be doing a river table. They mix up like gallons and they use a drill. I may need a drill. Comment below. What's the most epoxy you've ever mixed up at one time? There are so many bubbles in here. I, this was gonna be the mixture where I, I tried not to get the bubbles mixed and whipping. There's no, there's no, there's nothing you can do about this. You got a lot of work to do there, buddy. That's the thing though, listen. For everything in life that you do, you're not always gonna have a YouTube video that you can check. You just gotta go for it sometimes and that's how you'll learn better, actually. And there are some things that you need to learn from other people's boo-boos, like mine right now. I'm probably making a lot of them. Okay, look at that. That is murky looking. Look at all them. Ah, my gosh, I dropped some. Dadgummit. it. trying to show you. I just flicked that all over myself. So next step says, close the head, plug the silicone cover, which is this in the back, and tap the power button. Oh, we got some numbers flashing here. Whoa, are you working already? What, I didn't even. What is going on? It just said press power button. Select five minutes or nine minutes by tapping the AI button. Okay. It's literally just jumping all over the place. Oh, I did something. Okay, it's starting over. Okay, this thing's about to take off here. I see popping of the bubbles already. All right, hold on, let me read. I just want, I don't want to mess, mess up. So this thing is counting 74, 75. So it is trying to reach either 92 or 95 KPA, whatever that means. It's leaning sideways for some reason. Oh boy, there's a lot of bubbles in there. It's been two minutes. Next page. When the machine beeps when the time is over, unplug the silicone cover in the back and wait 30 seconds to release the pressure. All right, it just beeped. As you can see, 
we have about 1.7 ounces of liquid and about 100 ounces of bubbles. So I'm not really sure. Uh, it beeped, so I think it said to take off the plug. The silicone. Oh, what the heck? It hissed at me. Ooh, what's going on? Oh, they went down. Weird. But, um, so we have about two ounces of Pupuxi and one ounce, plus or minus, bubbles on the top. I felt like they were supposed to go away. I think we're going to run it one more time. What do you think? Let's try that. All right, so it's been going about three more minutes. It's already been nine. And uh, it looks like the same amount of bubbles are in it. Oh, it's spinning. Here we come. Oh, it is really bouncing now. It's having a party in there. Wow, that thing is shaking. It must be scared. I think I'm just gonna call it. I think I'm gonna stop and see where we're at. Uh, Cause I don't know what it's supposed to look like. It looks clear at the bottom-ish. There's maybe five bubbles, I don't know. But we've been nine minutes already, and now we've been four, four and a half. So uh, I'm just gonna cut it off. All right, I don't know if you can see from there. It looks looks pretty good. I guess I can open it now. It won't explode. It's been more than 30 seconds. Okay, we're good. I don't know if it's stuff. Ooh, it's warm in here. Whoa, it is. It is really hot on my hand here, dude. I don't know if I could put this on a tumbler. It seems still thin enough, you know, to work with and do stuff. It definitely did not get all the bubbles, probably the way I mixed it. But literally, I can't really see how you could do it any better with mixing this much epoxy with a tiny little doodad. Maybe I need to use a wooden thingy. What do you call it? Popsicle stick? So, let's just see. I got my tumbler right here. Mm, this thing is heavy. Who made this? All right, turn the bad boy on. All right, let's see what we can do. Literally, wow, this stuff is really hot in my hand. There's literally no way you could use a fast epoxy because that was like nine, 14, 15 minutes or something. And that uh, fast epoxy would be setting up already, but literally this is burning in my hand. I'm gonna mess this up if I put this on. Wow, that's really, oh gosh, that's really hot. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna sit it to the, we're not, we're not gonna take the chance in screwing up this tumbler because it is literally, like I can't even hold it, it's so hot already. Like, what are you supposed to do with this? I guess it's really only good if you're doing molds. We're just gonna sit it to the side and, and let it cure and see what happens. I'm not messing up my tumbler. If you wanna see how I made this, I put a, I put a card at the end of this video and let you see that. But let's just sit here and watch this for a minute. Time lapse. Taking these daggum sticky gloves off. I'm getting a pooksy everywhere. It's all over my shirt. All right, it's literally only been like five minutes. I noticed kind of bump, bumping up. This stuff is hard as a brick. Oh my gosh. I wonder if it's still hot. Oh gosh, yes, it is hot. Wow. I don't know what to make of this, so. All right, I was gonna end the video right there, but we're gonna break a few rules first because I really don't think it's fair the way I tested this out because that's not the way I use epoxy. I use epoxy in small 20, 30 milliliter, maybe 60 if we get crazy. And I followed the directions as you should do to learn how to use something. But now throwing that out the window and we're gonna do it my way. And I'm curious to see, like I do a pretty decent job mixing, but if this can help me get that much more less bubblage, then I feel like why not use it because all you have to do is press a button and you just sit there for a few minutes. Besides, I think I cooked this one to death, so uh, <coughs> wow. That is some hard stuff. So let's mix up a tiny bit of a pooksy, throw it in here. Just see what happens, I don't know, let's go. Don't, don't fall off, I kinda need to use you. It's just for dramatic effect. All right, I mixed up 10 milliliters of part A 10 milliliters of part B. If you want to see my full epoxy process, there'll be a card at the end of the video right here. But I actually did a pretty horrible job mixing up. There's tons of bubbles in here. And that was not on purpose. It's because usually I heat up my epoxy before, but my heater's on the fritz. So we mixed it, put it in here. There's a dog going crazy outside. And turn it on. 
Oh, got to close the thingy in the back. All right. I don't know what's going to happen. All right. There we go. She's done. And uh, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here. There's a lot of, it's like a frothy brew there, buddy. While you're looking, I'm going to remove the air portal port. What? I don't know what you call it. Whoa. That mug went down like pretty cool. I got me a glove in case this mug is hot this time. I don't want to do that again, but I don't want to cook it. I, don't know, I say cook it. I don't know if it's cooking it or not, but I don't want to do it any more than five minutes. I really want this to work. Really, 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 really. Cause it looked like a disaster before I put it in there. That's a, yeah. Hold on, let me hold it like this. Is that hot? Not even hot. There's the epoxy and all this is like bubble residue. <sighs> Maybe I'm not doing something right. I don't know. The bottom is super clear, but that's only about five milliliters and I have 20 milliliters in here. Okay, I'm going back to the instructions. Let's see, after you're done, maybe I'm missing something. Okay, oh, it just says, take it out and pour it into something. Let's do that. All right, I got me some moldy thingies, some stars, heart. There's a diamond somewhere, here's one. Me and Bailey like to play with these quite a bit. We've made a lot of stuff. It's just fun to do with your kids, extra epoxy, pour them in some of these things. I got them from Michael's and uh, you just drip some alcohol inks or throw some glitter in there and it's fun. This one actually has leftover chunks of gold leaf and then epoxy. Bailey actually made this. She did her, it's like really nice. I mean, cool little trinkets if you wanted to add that to your orders that you ship out. <laughs> Who wouldn't like to get one of these, huh? And it's just extra epoxy, you're gonna throw it away anyway which is probably what we're gonna do with this. To be fair, I'm gonna pour some into, oh, these are kind of dusty, it's okay. I'm gonna pour some in this one, and I might cook it again, I don't know, cook it, that's probably wrong. I was looking for the instructions to see if you're supposed to stir it some more, but it doesn't say to, so leave it alone. I'm sorry, can't help it. So let's pour a star, very smoothly and evenly. I guess. If you have one of these you used it and I'm doing something horribly wrong, please let me know. I love learning. As much as I use stuff the incorrect way, I do want to know how to use it the right way. Okay, there's one there. Should I cook it some more? Yeah, I think so. Fire away. Five more minutes. And I have, I only used five milliliters there, so I have 15 mils of epoxy left. Oh, I gotta cover the hole. Can't forget that. All right, see you in a minute. There we go. All right, your final chance, dude. Just let to get air out. Oh boy. I don't think you should blow that right in my face. It's probably not good. I didn't smell anything, but whatever. Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. Wow, that mug was on there that time. That's not hot. I should put gloves. You should wear gloves anyway, really. So this one actually looks a little better. We have actually 10 milliliters and the bottom 10 milliliters, super clear. Gently, I wish there was a way you could sloth off foam off of stuff at the top. I literally think the best stuff is in the bottom down here. I might fill these two back here just to see, or just this one. Dang it, I didn't have enough. Where's my scraper? It's all the way over there. Where's an assistant when you need one? Bailey, she's at school. She's a good helper. Her arm is healing well, for those of you who know. She broke her arm jumping out of a bouncy house. Uh, they're safer if you stay in them. But she was in one of those obstacle course bouncy houses and she was racing somebody and she saw the finish line. She was in the lead. She dove for the win. Bonus, she did win. Overshot the nice little soft inflatable landing area that they made for landing uh, into the grass. She saw it bend here. Not at the elbow where it's supposed to, she did here. So she broke both of those bones. She ended up having to have surgery. She has some hardware in there. She's excited for when it heals and see if a magnet will stick to it. So let's torch these. Let's turn that down a little bit, guy. Hey, take it easy. Ooh, that is satisfying. I, I didn't move the camera, but you'll just have to imagine it. So we have a five minute and we have three 10 minutes. And literally the last one, which was the bottom of the thing, which was the clearest, looks like it might be the clearest. Maybe they'll rise up a little more, but uh, through the magic of time and editing, it's gonna take forever for me. I got a disappointment to go to anyway, but you are about to see this right 
now. All right, so these have sat over, what? No, I'm not wearing the same clothes I wore Yes. Okay, maybe I am. These have sat overnight. This is the, ooh, that's got a lot of bubbles. That's the five minute -er. And Let's see how the three 10 minute ones did. They get progressively better. There's the five minute, there's 10 minute from the top to the bottom. You can tell they noticeably get less and less bubbles. I just gotta figure out the bottom half was pretty good. It moved the bubbles up, but the bubbles didn't go away. I'm not sure where I messed up there. Maybe you could help me. But if you want to see how I legit do my epoxy process for my tumblers, start to finish, you're gonna check out this video right here. And we'll see you in the next one. God bless.